fellow wazzers. We're going to get into some taste testing today. We've got the Tokyo Treat box for June 2021. And this one is all about anime. So it's also a new box. We've also got the blue animation box, which is very, very nice to look at. And also comes with some fun extras. Please check out the first video where I did an unboxing. You'll get to see the magazine and a few other bits that are in there, as well as all the treats um, one by one. This one, we're just going to get into the taste test. Got the leaflets again. And I'll flip through back to that double page spread where I can have a look and see what we've got. For those of you that didn't see your first episode watching back, as you can see, we've got a two page spread of everything that's inside this box. So I can read on there what it is I'm eating, even though they're all in Japanese. So I, I am actually very thirsty. So the first thing I am going to dive into the box for is that Fanta Yogurt Rush. So with the Fanta Yogurt Rush, it's a yogurt and grape flavoured Fanta, straight from Japan. As you see all with the Japanese writing on there. And she does look like she's about to enjoy this yogurt and grape Rush drink by Fanta. I'm a bit undecided. This has been in the fridge to keep it cold. To make it taste a little bit better. Give it a little shake up there. A little tap on the top. But yes, let's give this a try. See if it is as bad as we think it is. The thing I want to say it tastes the most like is cream soda. So if you go to any of your local stores in the UK, Tesco, Sainsbury's, all of that, look for their own brand, cream soda, Tesco cream soda. If you're watching around the world, Walmart, all those big um, brands, Saro, they all sell cream soda. Just look for their own brand, cream soda. I would say that's what this tastes like. Can't really taste the grape that much. But you are getting that yogurt flavour and cream. I would say it's very much like cream soda. It is enjoyable. I didn't think it would be, but I do enjoy it. It does taste good. So that's the uh, Fanta yogurt grape flavoured drink. Tito Lay's dragon chips, chilli flavour. Like I said, I'm not the biggest when it comes to spices. I have been eating Texas, uh, Texas protein snacks recently. They have the Texan uh, barbecue spice sort of laid on the top and I've been getting used to it. So let's hope it helps with these chili flavored chips we've got here. They're twisty Frito Lay's, so not the straight ones. I guess to be just like that dragon's tail. It's very twisted up. Sort of smell the potato coming through, but not much chili really. Like you can tell they're made of a potato chip, but you can't really smell the flavour. Mm. Mild spice, mild chilli. They are nice. Like I said, I don't really like chilli and spice and all things nice. But I am liking this. It is quite good actually. Get the tongue alive, but that's fine. They are some really nice Frito Lay's chips. Two very good items to start off with. It's a crunchy bite sized melon pan cookie. It's just what you need to break the tension during a climactic anime scene. So that's what you need this for. So let's give this a try. Biscuit here. You can taste that melon coming through. The melon does come through quite strong. Basically like a soft biscuit. It's not a hard one. Very soft biscuit there. But enjoyable. You can taste the melon though. That is very strong. Stronger than I thought it would be. The Ramoon candy. Super juicy, colourful snack apparently. Fizzy texture. And sweet flavour, so let's give that a try and see if it is. Oh, basically melts on your tongue. I would say, nearest thing to this that I've had before. Is medicine. <laughs> Funny to say that, but I have had medicine when I was a kid that was in a 
form like this that you put on your tongue probably a vitamin c sort of um medicine melts on your tongue instantly as soon as it touches your tongue which these do and then a really strong flavor of orange that's basically just what these are like um just like the medicine i had when i was good still very nice but basically just dissolves instantly as soon as it hits your tongue get a massive sort of orange flavor coming through and it's yeah like i say just dissolves um disintegrates immediately so i've got to try some more sweets here so these are those energy sort of um sweets here so these are the i got reincarnated as a slime gummy and we're going to give those try all different flavors as you can see along the front they're all different colors so we've got some soda blood orange and some energy drink and some mus muscat and mystery flavors this one also comes in a resealable pack got the anime on the front there like i say it's in a resealable pack so it can be resealed back up after use and the first one i pulled out is the orange one which will be that blood orange soda and blood orange really nice actually you we'll definitely chow down on these, a few of these tonight. Like little tiny gummies, go down really easy. Really strong flavours coming through. Big E numbers. But they're really tasty, really sugary though. You can tell the sweetness of them. Definitely something that will make you want to have a fill in when you're older. But yeah, really juicy, really tasty, really good. Like I say, they're very sugary. You can tell there's sugar in there. And resealable packs are perfect. You know, you're on the move, have a dabble, seal it back up. Obviously during COVID times like now, definitely good that you can just reseal this back up and keep it clean. While we're on the bit of COVID, all of this has been wiped down prior to the filming. This one, the seaweed salt flavored chips. Let's give these a try. These are ones my um, partner thinks I probably won't eat. She knows I don't eat seaweed and other things, but we're going to give them a try. We're here today to try something new. So let's try this. Got those anime characters on the front again. And you can see the bits of seaweed, I guess, that are flaking off, basically. Feels a bit like a cheese curl in your hand. And I guess seaweed's on there. So we'll taste that. Basically like a plain cheese curl. So cheese curl with no flavouring on. Um, I guess the seaweed's starting to come through the more you eat. Mmm, yeah, I'm tasting that seaweed, but it actually tastes quite nice. Tasting a bit of the ocean. Now those are really nice actually. Now those I could eat a few bags of in an evening. Crisps are one of my, the hardest thing on my diet is cutting out crisps. Really do like to eat crisps in the evening. Oh, and I believe this one here, so yeah, it's the Texas corn. I'm wondering if these might taste like those Texas corn um, barbecue stuff I get from Lidl's near my local store, the protein snack that I have before and like after running. So I'm gonna give these a try and see what they taste like. It does say here, forget popcorn. This is your new musty light snack for your favorite anime movie. So replacement of popcorn. So a bit like a what's it in texture. Very much like a what's it in the way it's uh, textured. And then it does have that sort of like Texas barbecue corn flavour, power and free. That is very nice. Very, very nice. All of them so far, so good. A country, you're not in the UK and you don't have what's it's basically a cheese puff. A cheese puff with no cheese on and just got flavouring of Texan, I guess. Tea cookie. So this one's the tea cookie. So I'm here in the UK. If you're watching this broad, I'm in the UK here. So obviously a tea cookie, I should be the best one to be able to tell if this is a proper good tea cookie or not. In the shape of a love heart here. 
So it's kind of sweet. Bit of a rose like water taste coming through. Overall, very nice actually. Like I say, a rose water type taste coming through there. So as time is going on, that um, that rose water taste is coming through pretty strong. So I have some of this Fanta again. So we have our sour cola bottle. I do like sour sweets as a kid. Always would have sour sweets. Taste of cola coming through very strong. But very much the same as every other cola bottle sour sweet you taste out there no matter where you are in the world. I would say all cola bottles taste the same. Haribo, no matter where you get it from, all got the same sort of taste to it. So we've got our camembert cheese here. I'm going to give that a try. Hmm, interesting. Creamy. Nice cheese sort of flavour coming through, obviously, with it being cheese, but... Hmm. Very nice. Very nice um, bit of cheese there. Don't know what more to say about cheese, but yeah, very nice. Creamy. Yeah, nice snack. Try the... Uh, I think over here in the UK we call them the Swiss roll. They've called it a cream buttercream roll. And apparently this is perfect for any anime video that you're watching. Perfect snack. So as you can see you've got the roll there. The buttercream roll cake. I'm gonna give this a try. Does look very nice as a snack. I wish I had these in the UK. Mmm. If they had these in the UK, I'd be eating them a lot. Very fluffy. Good texture to it. That buttercream is so nice. Now we're getting to the squid cracker. This one's a very interesting one. We do not have these in the UK. So squid cracker. It's sort of broken apart inside, but I only need one half for tasting. Looks a bit like the uh, what's it sort of air puff from the outer edge, and then we'll see what the flavour's like. So not like a what's it, it's actually more crunchier. It crunches a lot. Overpowering sea flavour coming through, seafood. I don't like fish that much. I've only got into it in the last few years. But really fish, like strong fish flavour coming through. But harder than I thought it would be. I thought when I was holding it, it basically tastes like a cheese puff. Some of that is not. It's actually like a hard cracker with air bubbles inside it. And really fishy. Big strong fish flavour coming through. Chocolate candy. Looks like two little balls in there. We'll give those a try. True Choco. Coot and chocolatey. Gets a bit like an M&M. &M. Has a hard outer shell like an M&M &M, and then a soft inner core of chocolate. Really overpowering chocolate actually. That's literally just gone around all of my mouth in one go. Um, really chocolatey. For such a small little package, really chocolatey, really strong chocolate coming through. Really smooth. That hard outer shell, good crunch to it. Really nice, that one. So now we've got the Sakira Moki chocolate. So we're going to give these Sakira Moki a go. Sorry if I get any of these wrong when I'm saying them. So we've got two packages inside with four balls in each. It's a bit squishy. 
like a mocky would normally be. And I'm looking forward to this. I've tasted Sakura before. So I guess Sakura tastes a bit like floral again. So a little bit of floral coming through. Not so much like rose water, but still floral taste coming through. Very creamy. The good texture on the out on the outer edge as well. Obviously, that's very gooey and stuff like that. So good texture there on your tongue. Good bite to it. It's as it squeezes out. But overall, very nice. First time, like I say, I've ever tried Sakura, but I do like it. Very, very nice. And then we've got our Kit Kat maple. Let's give the Kit Kat maple a try. I guess with that Moki Sakura, it's very, I guess you could say soft, chewy, you know, those sorts of textures to it, but very, very nice. Kit Kat maple there, little bars inside the bag, basically. Kit Kat maple. Mmm to die for. I do like maple syrup on my pancakes. If I'm at IHOP in the States, straight over, maple syrup all over my pancakes. Waffle House, all of those. Indoors, we've got maple syrup. Love it all over my pancakes, and I'm loving these. These are delicious. Oh, amazing. These put you in heaven. There's something I could eat all night, but I could eat them, but I can imagine they'll make you a bit, a bit ill after a while. So we'll move on to tennis shaped um, chewing gum. They're very different to what you'd normally get, but basically chewing gum tastes like a tennis ball. So it's got a hard outer shell. Very sour because of lemon. A big overpowering lemon taste. And just overpowers your mouth. So my mouth is all lemony at the minute. Turns into obviously normal chewing gum in my mouth. Once the hard outer texture is gone. But it's supposed to get sweeter, apparently. I guess it's kind of got sweeter, but not loads. That lemon was really overpowering. I like sour stuff, but that was really overpowering, that lemon um, chewing gum as it was coming through. Moving on to the Lucky Charm here. We're going to see what colour it gets. So, basically with the Lucky Cat Candy, bring a little snack magic to the anime snack fest. This candy changes colour as you enjoy it. And the colour reflects your fortune. So red is lucky, yellow is normal, and green is, well, you know, bad luck. Let's see what colour we get as I start eating it. So the starting colour, we've got purple here. I'd say the nearest thing to this, Gobstopper. Haven't had them in a long, long time since I was a kid. Don't even know if it's all. That's basically what this tastes like. Gobstopper with really nice flavour in it. And looks like I'm going to be lucky. Looks like I got the red colour. So my luck is going to come in. And I think my luck's going to come in because you're going to hit the subscribe button down below and help me on my lucky fortune. So please give us a like down below. Hit the subscribe for next uh, episodes. Catch me on my running episodes. And catch me on my next uh, Tokyo treat. Please leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up. Seize the day. Peace.